Well, howdy do. This is the Beer Whisperer, and I have the Anchor Brewing Same Master Series number seven Portrero Hill Sour Mash IPA. It's seven percent. I'm going to read just a little bit from this that's on the bottle here. Anchor, already a pioneer of craft brewing, moved to San Francisco's Portero Hill in the late 70s. In 93, we began distilling whiskey from a mash of 100% rye malt. Number seven begins in our brewery where we prepare 100% rye malt. Do you know anything about this? What's on here? Get a little puppet I'll pour you a that's Kenny the beer guy here. You've seen him in a couple of videos. We blend sour mash with a regular mash, which results in this IPA's. Oh, my You can't see the dry tartness from the sour mash, the bitterness from the Nelson Savine hops, and the subtle spiciness from the rye meld to create a singular thirst question quenching IPA. With a clean, crisp, dry finish, aromatic notes of grapefruit, mandarin orange, and passion fruit. I'm going to pour Kenny some here. It's very aromatic. It's incredibly aromatic, actually. I mean, what do they describe here? Uh, create uh, the aromatic notes of grapefruit, manner, and orange passion. Yeah, you get that. You also get a whole lot of rye spiciness right at the end. And almost these white pepper like notes. I gave a sample to uh, a young lady over here who described it as very malty, but you weren't getting a lot of hoppiness from it. And, and I'm. Okay, let me say it this way. Um, it's very sweet, it's very malty. Even on the middle, it's really sweet. You get a little bit of that sour rye smell. Yeah. There's a lot of rye on the nose. I got a lot of the rye on it. It doesn't feel like an IPA in today's sense of an IPA. It feels like an IPA in the traditional In the traditional sense of an IPA, it does. Kind of like a sweet English IPA. Yeah, it's, 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 it's hoppy enough to be a traditional British English IPA. Yeah. Yeah. But today's American craft IPAs are so hot for this isn't that kind of IPA, if that's what you're expecting. However, I do find the rye malt filter up here and the sour mash, because I think that's where the sweetness is coming from, is that sour mash. It's interesting. I don't know if I drink a lot of this, to be honest with you. Um, you didn't have this refrigerated, did you? So this is probably, I'm guessing, about 55, 60 years. So it's, it's probably about where you want it to drink a beer like this anyway. It's actually good. I tell you where folks are going to be disappointed is if they're expecting a big, you know, American craft IPA. Because this isn't that. This is a big beer cup. It is 7%. And there's a lot of flavors going on in here. Uh, hey, to be honest, I like it a lot. But I would have... Sometimes it's what's in a name, even though it is technically an IPA. Sometimes by labeling it's something, people's expectations are something else. So I think the expectation of an IPA may hurt it. But the flavors in this are absolutely brilliant. Uh, among, you know, I talked about the aromas, the flavors. You also get all those flavors that I mentioned, uh, plus a lot of that. You do feel that sweetness from the sour mash. Uh, you get a lot of that rice spiciness right at the end, and you get these, these kind of white pepper like notes right on your palate, right at the very end. It's a very nice beer. They describe a clean, crisp, dry finish. Yeah, I'm going to let them have it. It's, 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 I actually like it a lot. So, this tummy beer, which I'm going to get out of here.
Well, how you do? I'm back, and I need to add an amendment to this beer I've been drinking here. This is the Portero Hill Sour Mash IPA. Let me show that to you. The malt is sour. The beer is not. Uh, and I tell you, uh, this was room temperature when I got it. But I was noticing other things early on, and as I'm drinking this, I was noticing the fruit aspects they talked about. I was certainly noticing the rind. But as I'm drinking this more, I'm really noticing those whiskey aspects. And what I mean by that is the caramel, the vanilla that you typically get with a whiskey uh, or sour mash. A lot of caramel uh, in the malt, actually, and not necessarily in a sweet way, but more in kind of the feel uh, about a caramel. I was noticing, uh, uh, and I gave a sample to someone over here, he said it didn't feel like an IPA. It didn't, didn't feel like a, a typical American craft IPA anyway, that's for sure. It did feel a lot like a traditional British IPA. But as I've let, again, as I've let this sit of even more, <laughs> you know, or just maybe it's just because I've taken the time to notice more. It's not crazy hop heavy, but I am noticing those hop notes more now than I was earlier. I'm also noticing those whiskey notes more now. Early on, I was noticing the rye. I was noticing those fruit aromas. But now I'm really feeling more of the, the hops. I'm feeling more of the whiskey than I was earlier. I've got to tell you, I'm going to be honest, I, I love the beer. And, and I feel it's going to be a hit and miss for Anchor. People are going to love it because, well, they're noticing the things I do, or they're going to hate it because it's not an IPA by American craft standards these days. Um, well, what do most Americans think an IPA ought to be these days? Because <laughs> it's, it's really not that. But if you pay, if you, if you forget what the label says, pay attention to flavors. I'm not sure how any beer geek can help but love this because it is just amazing. So anyway, I'm trying to beer whisper. Now I've ran really long, man.